Today, we were able to find even more leaks for Roblox Funky Friday, and also some news of some new features that could potentially be coming very soon. One of the leaks does include a new animation made by the developers of the Dave and Bambi Golden Apple mod over on their Twitter account, as well as some more background leaks to go over as well. So make sure you smack that like and subscribe so everybody knows the new features and leaks that are coming into the game and let's get right into them so first we did get a rather interesting animation leak that was posted once again by the dave and baby developers of the golden apple edition over on their official twitter account now we've actually seen them do a couple animation leaks a couple days ago with the brob and gonal animation leak which is pretty cool and it's gotten a lot of a praise with a lot of people wanting to see this animation coming to funky friday well ladies and gentlemen they done it again. This is what they posted 18 hours ago on their Twitter page, and it looks rather interesting to say the least. Here we can see a giant 3D model of Garrett holding the Roblox humanoid on his left hand. This appears to be the idle animation since Garrett is standing straight with a humanoid dangling. It is important to note that the animation was animated by Touchavent, a Funky Friday contributor, and also modeled by Heartless Willow as well. Now first impressions on this animation leak, it looks great! And honestly, it does look rather odd and interesting at the same time. Now I've never seen Garrett, or I don't even know who Garrett is to be honest, but just like the Brob and Gonal animation leak we've seen a couple days ago, this could potentially be a new character that they're going to be adding into a future update for the Dave and Bambi Golden Apple mod. And also taking a peek at some of the replies that people have sent over on the tweet, it looks like a lot of people are very hyped for this animation and they're probably going to be paying a pretty penny points wise just in order to get it. Like we can see here, the tweet's actually gotten over 600 likes in under 24 hours, which for Twitter standards is pretty insane. So I could probably see this animation go anywhere between 700 to 900 points. Again, very interesting animation. It is going to be a 3D mild one once again as well, which does usually equate to a high price but it's definitely gonna be a very funny animation that we could all see come to funky friday next up it looks like we've already gotten a confirmed background link made by cold gfx over on his twitter account as well cold gfx is another map creator for funky friday but it turns out he actually forgot to add this background in to our latest update regarding about microphone skins like what five days ago Cold states, this was meant to be part of Funky Friday's new mic skins updates for Unique Geeks, but I was asleep at the moment and didn't notice until now. Here we can see the Funky Friday stage in the middle of a giant crosswalk and a building towards the back that has a yellow halo light protruding from the roof as well. In this second screenshot, we can get a close-up on the house as well as a red sign saying hi with lots of smaller portraits of various Funky Friday figures. Hey look, that's me, bro! So yeah, this map background technically should have already been in the game as part of our last update regarding about microphone skins, but Cold had to sleep through it and he ended up missing the mark on adding this background into the game. But that's definitely not to mention that this could probably come into our next update, hopefully this weekend. Since you didn't miss the last deadline, you never know, this could actually come on this next upcoming update, which would be really cool. The background does come from various songs from the Unique Geese mod, and since they've already added the mod into Funky Friday, it only makes sense that we would get a background featured from the mod as well. That's not the only background leak that Cold GFX has posted as well. He's also posted another background leak last night that literally nobody has seen and deserves to be brought to attention as well. Last night, he posted this screenshot of another map background leak featuring the Funky Friday stage situated in a tan-walled alleyway with a couple of cameos and some graffiti on the wall behind the stage. This shirt does give off some old vibes, doesn't it? A tan-walled background alleyway, huh? 
Yeah, I think this definitely looks pretty familiar. If we take a look at the replies to the leak, we can see these two individuals stating witty map, and I think that is going to be the case. This does look like to be a leak for the original old school witty map background. Now, witty was one of the original first FNF mods to ever be created, and also come to Funky Friday as well, all the way back in March, I'm pretty sure. So, it is one background that we've been waiting for a long time, and it is going to be nice to see it come along with the other new hex backgrounds that we've recently gotten not only that but marshy flake another map creator for funky friday also had a leak for us over on his twitter account last night hmm. now it's not a confirmed leak or anything like that but if we take a closer look at the model he's working on it could potentially lead to a leak again Last night, Marshy posted this tweet that he's building a New York Street corner. If we take a closer look at the screenshot, we can see that he is indeed working on a 3D model of a city building. But something looks very familiar if we compare this seemingly normal building to a game feature. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this leak already a couple of days ago on our various other leak videos. Well, here's a screenshot of the background from the mod. Take a closer look at those buildings. Brick buildings with colored doors. I think you already know where I'm going with this. Now, Marshy is still working on the versus cloud backgrounds at the moment, but especially because this 3D model building looks very similar to the cloud background in the buildings behind the background, and the fact that he's still working on the background could potentially mean that the mod and also the background could be coming as soon as this next coming update for the game. Now, Tambrush did bring up a good point over on Twitter. This isn't going to be a big leak or anything like that, but it does hint at some features that Funky Friday is looking into in the future. Two days ago, he ended up posting this. What is your opinion on the idea of original Funky Friday animations? Animations are not connected to any FNF mod at all and are in Funky Friday exclusive. I actually ended up responding to this by saying, would love to see it. Even better yet, community made animations via Discord would be the best way to incorporate fans into the mix. And a lot of people seem to agree and want this to happen. Like Turnip said to go submit an animation you made as a concept for a chance to get into the game. That would be a good system to go along with. And I'll even ask you guys watching the video right now, would you guys want to see custom animations come to Funky Friday? Maybe even community made animations as well. Let us know in the comments down below. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to smack the like and subscribe as well so everybody knows about these new leaks and features potentially coming into the game very soon. And go cop some merch over at CaptainJackTech.shop. Okay, go get those hoodies. We'll see you all on the next one.